and I'm going to put in uh, one of these little memory wire armature sort of things here that it can take another hook or take a, a wiggle tail or something so I've got about what, 8 inches or so of, of memory wire here now it's called memory wire because you can scrunch it up into a ball and it will release perfectly to whatever straight shape it had been before so I want to create a loop on the end of this so I'm going to fold this round heat it up as you can see it wants to change its shape then it will set itself into a tighter bend and when it cools down it will hold its shape and then if you bend that it will want to go back to that shape so I'm going to slide a bead down onto that and two reasons for that one is to create a little bit of a tighter loop and the other is a bit of an attractor so you can put a crimp or something over that or whip it and whipping it here with our 200 denier gel spun Super glue to set it. And that'll create a little arm that'll sit out the back of our pike fly or jig as this one's going to be. And then with this loop you can then put in a split ring or whatever, or put in a sort of little attach a little clip or something like that with a wiggle tail or whatever you want on the back end of it. So, let's see if this will work. Take a little bit of shrink tubing. side of it and slide the sink tubing up onto that and that should hold that in place. 